OK, Mr Clarkson is suffering from suspected heat exhaustion. He was halfway through a 100k cycle when he suffered muscle cramps and nausea. He kept going until he collapsed. OK, on my count. One, two, three. OK, Mr Clarkson, you need to put an IV line in. So I'm just going to put this tourniquet around your arm and then you're going to fill up a little brick in the top of your head. 40.5. Alice, prime some IV saline from the fridge. Apply cold packs to his armpit, groin and neck. Okay, now just keep very still for me, Ross. Oh, bloody needles. Well, they're your best friend now, mate. You've lost a lot of water and your temperature is dangerously high. We need to put an IV line in so we can check your bloods and we can get some fluids into your body to help you recover. Do you understand? Mr Clarkson? Ross? He's feeding Sarah. On to his left side. Thank you. Ten minutes. Ten milligrams days of Where are you? Matthew, we need to get together before this Delhi Nation gig to go over the final numbers. Call me. Hey, 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 have you seen Mackie this morning? Why, what's up? Oh, I can't find him anywhere. He's not answering his phone and the Delhi Nation tasting is in two hours. Oh, hell. But hey, you could do it on your own if you wanted to, right? No, no, don't even say that. I am sick with nerves. Look, if you see him, just tell him to get his butt round to Coltrane and fast. Yep. Brenda's feedback report. I did mine this morning. Oh, so many questions. Isn't it great? Someone finally asking our opinion. On everything, even our bosses. I feel a bit, you know... Paranoid? You don't need to be. It's completely confidential. And considering all the assessments they make us do, it's our chance to redress the balance. I just went for it. Really? Mr Clarkson's blood results. Thanks, Alice. <clears throat> OK, he's hyponatremic. Is that what caused the seizure? Sodium deficiency, highly possible. Starting on a phenytoin infusion, admit him to HDU overnight. We want constant cardiac monitoring and IV electrolyte replacement, please. You got it. Mm. 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 The Where's the bite? Ross, Ross, you're in hospital, mate. Mm. You're suffering from heat exhaustion. You've had a seizure, but you've been medicated. It's under control. Seizure? It's okay. You had a close call, but thanks to Dr. Valentine, you're going to be fine. You're a very lucky man. I'll alert HDU and start the infusion. Hey, you're going to be fine, mate. You're going to be fine. Hey there. Everyone's dying to meet you. Okay if I do the intro? Yeah, I guess. All right, listen up, everyone. I'd like you all to welcome Claire Solomon. Claire's agreed to come and talk to us, but I don't think anyone's warned her about me. <laughs> apparently I interrupt. No, apparently about it. She's chronic. I have questions. Yeah, they come with answers, footnotes, and mm, links to other related subjects. They do not, Baxter. Oh, you're such a scene stealer, Simone. Claire will tell me if I am, but I'm only listening to her. Now, everyone find a place to sit. Uh, Claire, would you like a drink first, or should we get started? We might as well just get started. All right, you're sitting with me. We get the best chairs. <sighs> He's still not answering. I don't believe this. You're doing fine without Mickey. The place looks awesome. The food looks great. That's not the point, Etty. He set this gig up. He's got the family name. He's got the contacts. In fact, he's the one that Delhi Nation want to smooth with, not me. He might still get here in time. They haven't turned up yet. Too late, the money's just walked in. Um, here, here, keep pressing redial discreetly. Hi, hi, I'm Jay Copeland Kahu. Nice to meet you. You must be from Delhi Nation? Yes, we are. Mickey Bowen here? Yes, um, Mickey's just finishing off some last minute details. But if you'd like to step this way, we can get the taste testing started. So, I'll be taking you through all your gourmet sensations today. If you've got any further questions, please do not hold back. That's why I'm here. You and Mackie? Yes, of course. Um, I'll be back in just one moment. Any luck? Still answer phone. <laughs> so, I'm sunk. I am totally sunk. Thank you. Are those the questionnaires everyone's been talking about? Yes, they are. Thanks for returning them so quickly. We didn't discuss this, Brenda. But I did say I wanted to get a feel for where people are at. I found this to be the quickest way. Why, is there a problem? I'll read some of those now, I think. Well, I did promise confidentiality, but it's your call. 
although it'd be a waste of time. Why? Well, like all research, these responses need to be analysed and collated before they form any kind of constructive picture. It's something I've been trained in, but for an amateur... All right, you can uh, work on them today, report back to me tonight. No problem. And Tony, I know the learning process can be difficult, but I am trying to help you. The last thing I want is for there to be any ugly feelings between us. There are none. Not from me, anyway. Good. I'll make a start on these. Tenth down, nearly due for ops. I'm onto it. Hi, I'm Alice. Cherie, Ross's wife. You're looking much better. Hard to believe it's the same man. I know. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Really? In a good way. With gratitude. I thought I'd lost everything. Instead, I've been given a second chance. <laughs> oh, I, I want to see uh, Dr. Valentine. Um, I have to thank him. Oh, there's no need for that. Oh, please, um, ask him to come and see me just, just once. So I can shake his hand. Please? I'll see what I can do. I promised you'd get it, and you will. Hey, don't threaten me, man. Remember, I give as good as I get, OK? So just back off. Hospitality trade. It's dog eat dog. I thought you were supposed to be helping Jay. What do you think I've been doing? So, as you can see, Karukai is geared up to meet the demands of all of your stores. Is there anything else you'd like to ask, perhaps, or taste? <laughs> Too late. Even the staff can't wait to get their hands on Kahukai. What does that tell you, huh? Not we ever deal, mate. <laughs> really? We're in business? As if there was ever any doubt. We'll sign the papers first and we'll listen to a few champagne cooks. What do you say? He's got some gall, hasn't he? Well, if he hadn't have just made me a fortune, I would kill him. But as it is, I love him and I love you for bringing him into my world. <laughs> yeah, so it was a